What's good, YouTube? This your boy T World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, and comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you budge out some heat. In today's video, I will be using my new face pack that I made for Adobe. It's 10 faces for five dollars if you want to buy this face pack the link is in the bio and with this face pack i will be making a video to each one showing you guys how to shade and color step by step so you guys can follow along so without further ado let's jump right into it okay first thing we're gonna do is make a copy of the line work by dragging it to this blank sheet of paper unlock the second copy right here you're gonna select the head, right? And we're gonna click break link. We're gonna break the link so we uh, can interact with that layer. We're gonna go to this rectangle tool and I'm using my skin tone palette too. If you would like to purchase that, the link will be in the description below. All right, we're gonna drag this color over uh, on top of the picture. We're gonna right click it, go to range, send to back. We're gonna highlight everything. And then we're going to hit merge on our pathfinder, right click the color and go to isolate selected group. After we hit that, we're just going to hit delete. All right, let's come over here to this layer, hit this drop down menu, and we're locking only the black lines. Lock all our black lines, keep these top two unlocked, don't ask why. And then we're gonna close it go to this white selection tool and we're gonna delete the colors that's trapped in the hairs right there so i'm gonna hit delete on that go back to my selection tool and isolate selected group hold shift so i can color more than one area at a time and let's, let's do it man Move this color to the bottom, lock this top color, make sure this color is on top. Let's color the ellipse in. And this is how I do it, man. Just like this. And we're going to um, Boom. All right. Now, let's create a copy of the color layer, lock the bottom color layer, turn the eye off on the bottom, go to this white selection tool, and we only delete in the skin out of this layer. So let's make sure we delete all the little skin colors like this. All right. Y'all see what I'm doing? All right, boom. Now, let's go to this dark color and let's create shadows. I like to go to my pencil tool when I'm doing shadows. Make sure your color is at the top and the bottom one locked. Make sure your settings inside of your pencil tool look just like you see here. Then you wanna hit okay. Now, as you notice, I put this new layer between the color layer of the lips and the eyes and then the base color is at the bottom so i put this new blank sheet in between so our shadows will fall right behind the eyes and the lip layer so that's how we do it and all you gotta do is follow along with your boy if you want the same results i got or if you skilled and you don't need my assist my assistance you can do your own thing you feel me and tag me in it. Let me see what y'all. Let me see what y'all got going, man. I right, bring this over like that. But yeah, this is what I made this pack for for you guys to be able to um just practice on your shading, get your skills together. And then you can watch my tutorial step by step. You can start over, do it all again, and keep trying until you master it, man. For real. Oh, 
what I'm saying? And I'm gonna play it in real time so you guys will be able to keep up with the tutorial. So y'all ain't gotta be like, man, you were going way too fast, bro. We playing it in real time, man. Um. Bring this over like this. Bring that over. got it going man put a shadow right there I'm gonna put a little shadow down like that you know what I'm saying I'm gonna put a shadow like this Let's put a deep shadow Deep shadow right here, like that. over like this then we're gonna fill this earring like this and um let's uh bring this over like this shadow up through like this you feel but yeah man y'all follow along with the tutorial and get it right all right now for the dark shadow here like this Like that, you feel all right? Okay, cool. Now right, we got our base base shadow down. That's the dark tone. Now let's go a little brighter than that. So let's probably go right here to the tone. Right, let's 
let's select this. You know, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Let's go color balance. And let's turn this up a little bit. Wait. Turn that down a little bit. Hit OK. And bam. You know. Once you learn a method, though, it's everything after that is smooth selling. So like that. Let's bring this up like that. I'm gonna bring this tone. So like this, like this up like this, and um, let's bring these tones up like that, man. And it's over. You see how everything fall behind that eye layer? It make your job easier once you. You lay everything out. You know what I'm saying? gotta do let's throw some highlights on this face man I will go one more tone darker yeah we're gonna go one more tone darker then we'll put a highlight on this face so we're gonna bring that above the dark shadow we made you feel me so and I don't like it cuz it's, it's kind of reddish so we looking for that brown Okay, that's cool right there. That's cool right there. We just gonna put it in the crease of the front of this eye. Like this. And these shadows kind of show you what shape you dealing with. You know what I'm saying? They kind of shape out your art. So you notice I'm trying to follow the picture, make it make sense. Give it that three dimension look. That 3D look. Put a shadow right here. Um, let's 
create a layer right above the eye color layer. Cause remember, we gotta come in and add these shadows now. So, all we're gonna do is follow this. Drop it back like that. Come on this side. Follow that. Drop it back that way. Hello. It don't it don't matter. I thought you what what we say. Okay. Okay. I mean, I can send it. I can send it right when I finish the YouTube video. Uh. Okay. Now let's uh add some highlights in it. Look real quick like this. You know what I'm saying? And boom. And um at the very top, we're gonna go to the gradient. Um, where is it? Oh, gradient right here. Then I'm gonna go to is it metals? Go back one. Wait, where is it? We're gonna go to this little gradient thing right here. Natural 17. That's how I do my little uh, effect. All right, let me go to window. Let's go to gradient. Let's delete this. Delete that. Drag this slider to the center. Let's move this to a hundred. Let's move that to a hundred. Let's move this to a and now let's add our gradient for the hell, man. What's that? If you add our little gradients, right, there you have it, man. A little color tutorial for the for the face pack. Just like I said, if y'all would like to purchase this pack and um start practicing for yourself, the link is in the description below. So y'all make sure y'all go get this pack, man. And go have some fun. Wait, right, there's one thing I want to add before we get out of here. Let me go back to my little brush. A little highlight. TV. Get him a little highlight on his face. Or the light will be bright at. But yeah, man, new brush, new face pack for Adobe. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon, and I'm out this thing.